mums are one of my favorite fall plants because what screams fall more than mums? But what's even more amazing about mums that no one talks about is that they're actually perennials and will keep growing year and year again. So fall doesn't have to be the only time of year that you enjoy these beautiful, colorful, flowers that come in so many different types. And although we always adorn them on our front porch in little funky pots, or we plant them in something, that's not where they need to stay. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can actually bring these mums into your life year and year again. The best time to plant mums is going to be in the spring because it's gonna give the mums enough time to sink their roots into the ground and grow and really get ready for the winter that is months and months away. But just because it isn't spring when you're watching this doesn't mean you can't actually plant your mums into the ground. You can actually plant them in fall as well, which is what we're going to do, but there's a few things that you want to keep in mind if you are going to do this. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So the number one thing that you're going to want to do is when you're looking for your mums is pick out a mum plant that maybe doesn't have all of its flowers on it, pick one out that just has little buds. And this is because the flowers really mean that your plant is almost nearing the end of its life cycle. So when the big box stores are selling these plants, they're gonna sell them when they're all bloomed and flowery and look great, but that actually means that you have less and less time with your plant. So pick out some plants at the store that don't have full blooms, and this way they're gonna have more energy that they can put into their root system so they can survive year and year again. And when you do plant them, you're gonna wanna pick out a spot that's either high sun or partially sunny because they do enjoy this environment. We're gonna pick out a spot for our mums and go ahead and plant them. Now, when you do plant your mums, you're gonna wanna make sure to just knock them a little bit out of your pots and then you can loosen up the soil around them and plop them into a hole that's about double the size of the actual root ball. This is gonna give a lot more area for the plant to grow and if you can drop in some fertile soil here this will be an extra boost of help. Then you're going to want to make sure to cover up the sides of your pot up until the top so that wherever the pot was planted you're leaving that level. So it's going to be pretty deep in there and if it is a little deeper into the season or if it does get colder where you live then you will also want to mulch on top of that to give it some extra protection. Now, one thing that people like to think about, and there is definitely a debate of whether you should prune the flowers in the fall or keep them until spring. Now, there's actually a study from Iowa State University that found that if you do not prune the flowers off, then your plant will be able to bear the cold for a lot longer. So I definitely suggest waiting to prune until the spring. It's definitely not gonna look as nice during the wintry season, but this is gonna help your plant actually have a much better life long-term and look really beautiful year and year again. Now, when you are planting your plant, it's mindful to think of the time of year. I definitely suggest planting before mid-October, especially if you're in a zone that gets down to the single digits. Ideally, you're going to want to plant before the end of September, but if you are struggling, then you can always winterize your mums. Now, what does this actually mean? This means that what you're going to do, especially if you're in a zone four or lower, it is going to get very cold or it's just later in the season, then you are going to take your plants, put it into an area that is protected on the sides from the wind, the snow, heavy rains, so maybe like a barn, a garage, a basement, anything like that. You'll put it in there, make sure that the soil is damp all season, but this is going to basically let the plant hibernate. It won't grow over the winter. And then in the spring, you can go ahead and replant this plant. Moms are a plant that should be enjoyed year and year again. They're a perennial and gonna keep coming back year and year again. So why not make sure that you take your plants off the patio and put them in the ground and enjoy them every year. I'm Danielle at the Spadaro Farm, and if you like this content, definitely check out some more of our gardening content, and we'll see you guys again next time. Bye!